Hi guys, this is Ajin Abraham. In this video, I will talk about the DOM scanners of OWASP Xenotics. So, you can access them from scanner. And uh, you can go to DOM scanner. And there are two options available. The one is DOM Accesses Analyzer. So, with that you can analyze uh, DOM accesses on any remote host. So, basically it's a heuristic based pattern matcher which will uh, give you an idea about all the so possible source sensings and also we have a local DOM access analyzer we'll come to that in a while so now let's see DOM access analyzer so you can give any URL here for example open security and uh, you can give your custom user agent if you want to redirect the traffic through any proxy so you can uh, provide it here. So this uh, DOM analyzer is a separate module which is written in Python. As it is written in Python and is external to Xenotics environment, the traffic will not be redirected through the global proxy of Xenotics which is available in settings proxy settings. So what you have to do is you have to manually give the proxy IP and port uh, to redirect the traffic if you need to and then if you have any cookie you can give it here so once you click on scan you will get the output over here so let's do a scan it will take some time depending upon the size of the website yeah so uh, basically we will get an idea about the possible source sensings of different from different javascript files and uh, Based on that, you can have a manual analysis and make sure that whether whether the DOM access is exist or not. So this is all about the DOM analyzer. So let's close it. So uh, moving on, we have the local DOM access analyzer. So uh, basically, if you have access to your website files or the source code of a website that is a HTML and JavaScript content in your local system. You can basically use this so it will basically crawl through all the HTML and JS files and try to identify all the possible source sensings so this will be helpful uh, because uh, it doesn't need you to wait a long time for crawling or anything like that so it will just go through the all the HTML and JS files under a given directory and check for all the possible source sensings that can cause DOM accesses so for example you can browse and select any directory so I'll be choosing some directories like uh, so, yeah. so let's uh, for the mosaic let's select the Xenotics root directory and directory is selected and then you can press run so once the scan is done, it will give you a beautiful report. It will give the name of the file, the location of the file, and the possible source along with their line number, and the sinks with their line numbers, and similarly. So uh, these are the different files and uh, the sources and sinks being listed here. So uh, this is how you can scan for DOM accesses in your local files. That's all. Thanks for watching.